The three ecumenical creeds, that's the Apostles, Nineteen, and Athanasian Creed, all mention that at the return of Christ, he will come to judge the living and the dead. In agreement with this, the Lutherans taught that on the last day, Jesus Christ will raise all the dead to give eternal life and joy to those who believe and are elect, and to condemn the ungodly and the devils to endless torment. Article 17 then condemns the Anabaptists who taught that the devils and condemned humans will not suffer eternal torture and torment. Article 17 is written specifically against these Universalists, but this article also dealt with the heresy of Annihilationism. Annihilationism is the belief that the second coming of Christ will be will when people will be cast into the lake of fire, they will be completely burnt up and that their bodies and their souls will be annihilated. They'll cease to exist. The Lutherans reject such a teaching by declaring that the ungodly and the devils will suffer endless torment. In Matthew 25, 46, it states that the wicked will suffer eternally. The annihilists claim that the eternal punishment means that their punishment will last forever in the sense that they will cease to exist forever. However, a few verses earlier in Matthew 25, 41, Jesus declares that their punishment will that they will be cast into the everlasting fire. Their punishment is being burnt in fire and this punishment is eternal without end. Annihilationists also speak of an eternal death in which people ex just cease to exist but such a language is never found in Scripture. In Revelation chapter 2014, it does refer to the lake of fire as a second death, but Scripture never uses the term eternal death, whereas Scripture always speaks of eternal life, and in opposition to that, it speaks of eternal punishment. Matthew 10, 27 does speak of God destroying both body and soul in Gehenna, that is, the lake of fire. But this destruction is everlasting. The Bible does not speak of an endless non-existence. It speaks of endless suffering. In Daniel 12, 2, it refers to the judgment of unbelievers as everlasting shame. That is shame that never ends. Isaiah 66, 24 and Mark 9, 48 speaks of the worm that does not die and the fire that is never quenched. While Jeremiah 4.4, 4, Matthew 3.12, and Luke 3.17 speak of the wicked being cast into a fire that will never be extinguished and will never be quenched. A fire is quenched and it is stopped once it stops burning the thing that it is burning. If the wicked are thrown into an endless fire that cannot be quenched, that means that the fire will never stop burning them. The wicked will never be entirely burnt up. They will never stop burning. Thus, the Lutheran confessions strongly reject the heretical teaching of universalism and annihilationism.